Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Zooty Pickups. Today I want to talk to you guys about Target's new inline brand that is Goodfellow and Co. Um, so those of you with wives or girlfriends know this already, but you know they like to spend like half their waking hours in that store. So this weekend I was at Target with my wife and she had her usual bundle of clothes that she wanted to try on in the dressing rooms. So you know I was just kind of like meandering around the store. I thought I'd check out the uh, men's men's clothing area and I noticed it had done like a, a total like 180. They used to carry this brand called like Massimo Supply and uh, Marona. They were both like inline target brands and while their stuff wasn't like horrible or anything like that it was just like you know simple basic pieces. Eh, I'd say it was like you know like one level under what you would get from like a dedicated clothing store and everything from there kind of like looked targety for a lack of better term. So it wasn't like, you know, the best clothing. It was like pretty unremarkable, I would say. Uh, that's the best way to summarize it. So when I saw that they had pretty much like gotten rid of all that and replaced it with this like new brand called Goodfellow Co. You know, I didn't really have like super high expectations, but I decided to check it out anyway. And I was actually kind of like blown away by pretty much like their selection of clothing, like the cut, the finish, the colors, like, I thought they actually did a really good job. And to kind of like put it into like one sentence, I would say it'd be kind of like J. Crew on a budget. And now I know that like the J. Crew type style doesn't really go hand in hand with like a lot of streetwear fits, but I do believe that there are a lot of basic pieces that can be shared between that kind of aesthetic and a uh, streetwear style aesthetic. On top of that, um, the biggest thing I think this brand has going for it is the price point. Now, we're talking about like extremely low prices. Cheaper than Uniqlo, sometimes even cheaper than H&M. For the most part, they seem to be on par with H&M prices, but the quality of the clothes that you are getting from Goodfellow, from my short experience with it anyway, seem to be much higher. Um, and not to diss H&M, I have a lot of stuff from them, but the the problem with H&M I feel like is that it panders kind of like to the international crowd because they come out with like one apparel line for like the entire world. Um, you know, they, they, they have to sell in North America, Europe, and Asia. So when it comes to like certain trends like that are going on in North America, they might be missing it and some stuff like might look a little too like Euro for me. Uh, but since Goodfellow & Co. is targeting specifically the North American crowd, I think they're like spot on the money in terms of their designs and in terms of following the trends and stuff like that, so on and so forth. Um, so I went ahead and picked up three pieces. I didn't want to like splurge. There were actually a lot of pieces I wanted to get, but um, I didn't want to like spend too much money because I wasn't exactly sure about the quality. So this was kind of like a test run. I ended up getting uh, two garment dyed pocket tees and one hoodie. Uh, this is the first garment dyed pocket tee. I'm wearing it right now. Um, as you can see, it is um, a nice kind of like eggplant color. This thing was like $13. And um, uh, that might be like around the H&M price range or maybe a little bit Maybe a little cheaper. I think H&M t-shirts are like $12, but they're not garment dyed and they don't have the pocket. So you're paying a little extra for that. Um, in terms of like the wash, I really like it. It gives it that, that like nice worn in, like comfy look. Um, it feels really nice in the hand too. The fabric is pretty good quality. The stitching is, is really good. And I've actually put this through the wash once and it seems to have retained its shape pretty well. Um, no shrinkage or anything like that, not too much color loss. Um, yeah, you will have that with garment dyed garments. Garment dyed garments. They'll uh, bleed a little color in the wash, but it seems like this one held pretty well. Color fastness is good. In terms of fit, I would say it fits pretty true to size. I wear X large across all brands. I got an XL here. Um, it's a little roomy, but it's more or less kind of like a semi slim fit. It's not gonna be like super skin tight or anything like that. Enough room for it to be a little boxy. I do like the way it kind of drapes on my body. Zero complaints there. Uh, length of the arms are perfect. Girth is perfect. Um, and length on the torso is perfect. So in terms of fit, I have like no complaints. 
the other colorway I got was this uh, beautiful squash colorway and as you can see it is a really nice color I I noticed I had a lot of like blacks and whites in my wardrobe so I decided to kind of like you know spice things up with some some fall colorways I think uh, these fit the bill pretty nicely and for 13 bucks you know it's I, I only want to get one but they're so cheap I just got two so moving on the next piece I got was this beautiful Loden green hoodie and as you can see get the hood up as you can see it um it's really well constructed uh, you can't really see through the camera but the the quality of this fleece is actually really high um the hand feel is amazing and on top of that this sucker this was like 17 dollars 17 dollars for a fleece zip up hoodie i don't think you can even get that at at H&M. I think their hoodies are like 20 bucks I want to say. Uniqlo is like 25 but you know in terms of quality I've had a bunch of H&M hoodies zip up hoodies and those like pretty much like after like one or two wash cycles they'll like they kind of like shriveled into like nothing and then the zipper does the whole like you know like the S wave thing where it makes you kind of look pregnant and stuff like that. It was like you know like a it was like a total mess. So I am happy that this seems to be like way higher quality. Um, one thing to note, you got YKK zippers, and instead of those like crappy silver color zippers, you actually got like bronze zippers that really match the colorway. Um, little details like this, I think they did a good job. These little uh, eyelets for the drawstrings are also in the same bronze color. The drawstrings are flat, kind of adding a nice little flare nice little touch there um, construction I can't find any flaws double stitched all the way around kangaroo pockets elastics are great I I've been looking for something wrong with this for a while the last like two days when I've been wearing it I, I can't find anything wrong with it $17 uh, the fit it's a little large it's a little baggier um, I honestly could have fit into the large but you know the thing with cheap clothes they tend to shrink a lot in the wash so I decided to be safe and got the x-large so I'm assuming like once I put this through the the dryer or the so I'm assuming once I put this through the wash like once or twice it'll kind of like shrink down and be a better fit um here I'm gonna throw this on real quick so you can kind of see what it looks like Boom, there you go. Nice mid-weight fleece. Oh man, it's actually getting pretty hot in here. It's still hot in Southern California, so I'm gonna take this back off. So now those three pieces are were, were just the pieces that I picked up. So I, I I saw a bunch of other stuff at the store and I looked online at the Target website to kind of see what else that they had. And um I I I honestly found a lot of uh pretty cool pieces so I'll be throwing up some images as we go so you guys can kind of follow along apart from the zip up hoodie they have a pullover hoodie which is actually in the exact same colors and the exact same um, the fleece the high quality fleece material and we're talking like $15 for those $15 for a pullover hoodie and get this it gets even better so if you take the hood off get the crew neck version of the fleece $13. It's like ridiculous cheap prices. Um, if you're feeling a little bougie, you can get like the French Terry version of that, which is like a little more expensive. I think for the pullover, it was like 30 bucks. And for the, let me see, crew neck, it was uh, 25 bucks. So paying a little more, but I mean, still for French Terry, that's like a really good price. You can get matching uh, sweatpant joggers to go along with it for $15 which is also ridiculously cheap. In terms of shirts, they had this uh, black watch flannel shirt, which was very similar to Uniqlo's black watch flannel shirt. Now this thing was $30. Uh, Goodfellow's black watch was $25. Uh, the only difference being that the Uniqlo one only has one pocket on the left chest and the Target one had two pockets on both chests. 
so that's kind of like more of a preference thing. It's like five dollars cheaper, and it seemed like pretty much equal quality. So uh, that's it'd be a good alternative if you can't get the Uniqlo one. So yeah, uh, moving on to jackets, they had this herringbone work jacket, which comes in this like blue and red plaid colorway. It was $35. For $35, like you're not going to be able to find a work jacket this nice anywhere else. I thought this pattern was really cool. Um, you know, for fall and winter, it, it, work jackets are really nice to have. This would be a nice piece. Um, won't break the bank. Um, another thing that I found was this Sherpa trucker's jacket. And I also actually have a Sherpa trucker jacket from Levi's that I paid like over a hundred bucks for and it like fits like a trash bag. I'm not a huge fan of it. This one seems to be more of a slim fitting uh, jacket and it's only $40 so I think eventually I might pick that up. They also had this quilted jacket with this uh, diamond pattern quilt in black and olive. The olive version has this like safety orange, blaze orange uh, inside liner. Thought that was like a really cool touch. Also $40, so a little more on the steeper side for this brand, but still not bad at all, not bad at all. I thought it looked pretty sweet. So um, let's move on to pants now. They, they actually had a bunch of pants. They had a dedicated like pants section. Surprisingly enough, they had uh, selvage denim. Um, and I think it was like the lowest price I've ever seen for selvage denim, like $40 for a pair of raw selvage jeans. So before this, the, the cheapest you could get them, I think, was $50 at Uniqlo. We're talking about like non-sale prices, like original MSRP prices. So they've undercut Uniqlo by $10. Um, they didn't actually have these in the store I was at, so I didn't, I didn't get to actually like feel them into my hand. But if you really need salvage jeans and you don't want to shell out big bucks, you know, I think this is a good option. Seems to be a nice slim cut. So yeah, I mean, couldn't hurt to try it out. Um, of course, for everyone that loves black skinny jeans, they also had some black skinny jeans for $28, I think. Yeah, $28. And which is like, H&M uh, skinnies, I think, are $25. So these are $3 more expensive than the H&M skinny jeans. But um, I think anyone that has tried H&M skinnies know that they're not the greatest quality. They're not very comfortable and they eventually like fall apart really quickly after like maybe a year or two of wear. Obviously I haven't worn the Goodfellow and Co skinnies for a year and a half, but just from like going in the store and touching it and feeling the fabric, it seemed pretty promising. It had a good amount of stretch to it. So it seemed comfortable and the construction seemed to be like pretty on point. So, you know, I, I think I'm, I'm definitely gonna try these out eventually as well. Uh, lastly, Moving on, if you guys have like a desk job like me, you know, you can't be wearing distressed denim or black skinny jeans to work all the time, so you gotta wear chinos. I actually have to wear chinos like most of the time, which kinda sucks, but you know, they actually had a bunch of uh, nice chinos, and, and these skinny chinos that they have here were only $23, so you, know, you don't have to break the bank to have a nice work outfit. So yeah, uh, these were pretty much like some of the major things that I saw, they have, if you go on their website, you can see pretty much like all the stuff that they have. Um, also while I was there, um, before I forget, they, so they, they carry this like weird offshoot brand of Champion called C9. And they make this fleece called Victory Fleece. And it looks suspiciously like Nike Tech Fleece. And it like feels exactly like Nike Tech Fleece. Like I've seen a lot of uh, brands duplicate the cut of Tech Fleece, but the feel, like no brand has really like duplicated the feel until like the C9 Victory Fleece. So like I actually like tried it on in the store and it like looked and felt like pretty much exactly like Nike Tech Fleece. And like the prices were like, you know, way lower. It's like, it was like 30 something dollars for the hoodie and uh, 30 something dollars for the pants. So it's like, you know, not even, it's like less than half the price of like actual Nike Tech Fleece. So, so if you guys are in Target, I think you should definitely check out those items. Apparently everyone knew about this before because I tried to go online and buy some because they didn't have them in my size at the store. They're all sold out. They only have like triple XLs left. So yeah, I guess um, I'm in late on that secret. So Goodfellow & Co. I think is a fantastic new brand from Target. I think they're like checking off all the check boxes. They got good quality, good designs, good prices. 
the good prices part, I just can't, um, I just can't get over how, like, cheap some of this, the, the stuff is. I mean, I, I, it was, like, so shocking to me, I decided to, like, come home and make a video about it, which is, like, you know, I'm making a video about Target clothes. So I hope that kind of, like, speaks to itself on the value of, uh, what you're getting here. I hope, um, you know, if future collections come out and they keep the same price, they keep the same good quality and design, and I'll definitely be buying more of it. So, yeah, um, if you guys have tried any of their pieces, like, tell me how you like them. If you have any recommendations, definitely let me know. And, um, yeah, hopefully that kind of was a nice little primer into Target's new brand. And, as always, thank you, and I'll catch you in the next one.